morning guys and today it's a rainy day oh, so complete, total complete opposite of yesterday uh, if yesterday was so sunny today is so rainy and luckily I bought my umbrella because I already saw the forecast of the weather prior going here and yes I'm going to the dancing house now and I think we'll talk about uh, we'll talk later because it's really raining and I um, I need direction I need my other hand for the location uh, I'll see you guys there stop raining now and I'm walking near the castle again just along the river and this is the view on Ganda and I think that's another bridge on the view oh no that's St. Uh, Charles Bridge already so yeah I'll show you the view here in Prague I think so you can see it on Instagram as well but yeah I'm actually hungry now and I haven't eaten anything yet oh Korean oof ramen yesterday do some o'clock and yeah good thing na hindi na siya umuulan and there's still a lot of people tourists yeah. just spending our time here we might find some place to eat though for the books the infinity book well I'm not going there anymore I'm gonna go rest in the hotel again because I've been walking around um, I met a friend basically I'll show you the picture that's him um, he's from Turkey uh, we connected over Facebook because we I posted we posted some on a solo travel body basically and yeah we, we connected and it was nice meeting someone, you know, uh, but I think I'll speak to you in a bit when I'm in a hotel and talk to you more about it. I was 
debating whether to go to a fancy restaurant or somewhere um, that I like. So I was debating whether to go to Zen, which is a bit fancier, but I feel like it's overpriced. So I just went to the park and decided just to go here in rice. So let me order my food first before we talk. And it's my last night, my last dinner here in Prague, Prague, why not? And to be honest, yung price ng two dishes, like the chicken and the beef bulgogi, isang dish lang yun dun sa pupuntang kosada. So, and hindi ko pa sure kung magugustuhan ko. And I do like this, um, you know, chicken, Korean chicken. I miss my friends now. We usually go to, how do you call this one? Um... Babin, so we haven't been for a while. I know you guys know about it if you're watching the vlog. And yeah, I don't know. I'm mixed emotions with it with regards to this trip, but I like it. I'm quite happy. Hopefully, more travel soon. So yeah, let's wait for the food. <laughs> I did order too much. <laughs> ah, so full. So full. Hope oh, I'll probably take this home. So, hi guys, we are about to leave the hotel, about to check out, and probably um, go to the town first and uh, take the bus or take the tram to the airport um, yeah I didn't have breakfast today I just just chilled at the hotel room basically yeah just being with myself and reading books calling Facebook Instagram and stuff like that and today is a good day it's not it's cloudy but it's still sunny it's not raining which is good I basically if you see the vlog what I'm trying to say is if you see the vlog, um, you can see that it's not consistent. Like there are times wherein I don't really vlog. I just want to seize in the moment. And which I think is the reason why I like traveling alone. 
because I don't have to be rushed by someone and I just do what I want and see what I want to see and I think that's the perk of traveling alone don't get me wrong traveling with someone would be great like I find it hard to take photos when I'm on my own because basically we can like if someone asks if you ask someone to take a photo for you you could be like oh I don't like this angle could you take it a little bit some people will, might ask you to do it one more time but then if you ask someone a stranger it's just awkward to be like oh I didn't really like the photo that they took basically and so yeah I think with that if you're if you want to have like a good photo aesthetic photo probably bring a tripod would be better but then again setting it up is quite a hassle I did use my tripod for some photos but yeah, I mean, I didn't use it a lot, a lot, because uh, on a crowded places, um, it's really a hassle for um, you're blocking the pathway for them. And yeah, and I was saying um, the vlog was inconsistent because I was trying to seize in the moment and trying to spend alone with myself and try to get to know me better, like know myself better. And I think I'm the type of person that I'm not bothered if I don't see everything that I want to see. Like yesterday, there was a long queue for the books, the Infinity books here in Prague. And I was like, you know what, I just want to see it and not take a photo of it. So that's what I did. And I think I like to meet people as well in certain areas. and. You know discuss life like I am intrigued and I am trying to find human connection I think like I am the type of person I might be extrovert to be honest like a lot of people say that I am an extrovert but I think I am an ambivert which is a mix of both being introvert and extrovert because like spending time with someone like I met um, someone from Facebook because I posted I posted that I'm traveling solo and any person hit me up so we connected on Facebook met him and uh, we did sightseeing talk together uh, talk with each other talk together sorry we walk together talk and it's a bit draining to be honest I, I think like everyone of us need to recharge our social battery that's why if you could see um, I tried to go back to the hotel after like a long walk go back to the hotel recharge and probably go out for dinner I think that's what my what I did during this trip I am not sure if I'm making sense but I think as my first time traveling solo I think I like it and I might do it again soon and trying to figure out myself more trying to know m about myself more um, I'm quite surprised because like there are hindrances that happen like uncertainties that happen and yeah I mean it is good to be able to do what you want to do in your own time in your own space without someone pulling you I mean I think that's the perk of traveling solo and do I like it yes I will I, I love it so yes, I talked to you about an app that I used during this trip and it's Wonderblog. Wonderlog, sorry. Wonderlog. So um, you can put the addresses here, you can customize it. Like what I like about it is that you could like see other people's plan itinerary as well. Like you could put your flights over there. You could put your flies, you could put the hotel where you are, the places you want to visit. There you go. You can list them down and basically um, put it day by day. And it can like put you on a route that's quite convenient for you. And yes, I, I didn't see as much as other people here in Prague. But uh, I think I had a great time being to be honest and I, I have seen what I want to see and I'm quite happy with my trip to be honest with you and yeah
I think I will do it again and of course I will bring you again next time with me and by the way um, with regards to the with regards to this um, charm or the ticket that they have I think if you're really in the center like near the old town near the town itself um, if you're on Prague 1, 2, zone 1, 2 or probably 3 I think it's, it's, it is quite walkable to be honest with you because I walked a lot if you like walking a lot and if you try to find Google the difference is just 5 minutes sometimes like it's not that great huge difference if you if you use the metro the what a transportation here basically if you use the transportation there's not a lot of difference if you're just in the town center like if you want to see the castle the bridge is everything's walkable and to be honest with you um this i didn't use this much i think i just used it once oh no i i used the transportation when i was from the airport to here and then from the air and then from the airport uh from here to the airport again i will use this but then when i was touring around i only use it once going to the castle itself because i want to instead of walking up i want to walk down but then again i found out that it is quite near to be honest with you so i don't really need to use the uh to use the transport going to the castle on the other side on the other route rather than you know if you try i mean what i'm trying to say is if you love walking i think this is not really worth it because i didn't use the transport as, as much but then again it will allow me to go to the airport and so as i said i didn't use the breakfast here at the hotel because i will be using the airport lounge and that's why the other reason why i might go earlier to the airport just to enjoy the lounge and basically cheer because basically once i arrive in london it will be at six and i need to travel back to home and that will take an hour an hour or so then i'm working again tomorrow so so yeah i mean let's go to the airport now then um otd to the airport out airport outfit and that's my luggage and that's my backpack and by room And this is the view. <laughs> so, and dito po tayo sa lounge and oh, um, <laughs> adventure dating. It's basically the legion flight. Cool. I have an email saying, even on the episode, saying that the flight is delayed pero it's not showing sa Clark Airport departure sign so it's weird so I'm just gonna stay here and then ask them or just watch if the gate is open that's the time I'm gonna live here so yeah oh well I guess more time in the lounge might read my book and edit some videos for TikTok as well. But all people are here so busy like business people. So nakakaya magulang. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna update you guys. Kung halipad na ako, hopefully fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, nakalapag na tayo. But as a train na ako papatang Liverpool Street Station, so we have a ride. London finally and the weather is not great it's not giving <sighs> typical London weather umuulan and my skin oh my god dilatan natin mo yung consistent natin sa skincare ang ating 
palag alagaan yung ating skin kasi tignan mo it's not giving us all pero anyway sana nag enjoy yung sa sa susunod na trip natin ulit and I'll see you guys later thank you for watching Thank you.